Hi, welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-23 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have the air stroke actuator at D, which is used to apply a force of 200 Newton on the member at B. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the pin A and the force of the smooth shaft at C on the member. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw all the support reactions and the undefined forces, sorry unmarked forces. So at A I have a pin connection which means that I have two support reactions at pin A, one horizontal reaction and one vertical reaction like this. Let's label them. This one is AY and this one is AX. Now I have this inclined force so I can resolve it into its components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. This one is F sine 60 degrees. This one is F cos 60 degrees. Now I have a force of the smooth shaft on the member like this. Let's call this N. Now I have to resolve this inclined force into two components. So first of all I have to draw a horizontal line here. But first let's extend this axis. Let's call this Y prime. I have a horizontal axis here like this and a vertical axis here like this. Let's call this Y. This one is X axis and I also have an axis from here let's call this x prime now the angle between the y prime axis and this vertical axis is 15 degrees so here I have 15 degrees we are interested in finding this angle let's call this theta so if y and x are perpendicular which means if this is 15 degrees this must be 75 degrees because 15 plus 75 equals to 90 degrees now if I extend y axis downwards like this then this angle is also 15 degrees because these two are opposite angles so this is also 15 degrees these are vertically opposite angles now this angle must be 75 degrees because this is the x-axis and this is y-axis Let's call this negative y and this one negative x. So again 15 plus 75 degrees equals to 90 degrees. Now the axis of the force n and this y prime axis are perpendicular because y prime axis contain the member on which the force n is directed and force n is perpendicular to the member so 
so which means that theta plus 75 degrees equals to 90 degrees because x prime is perpendicular to the y prime so from here theta is equals to 15 degrees so now we have found the angle so let's remove all of this So I have two components of the force N, one horizontal component and one vertical component and the angle of this inclined force N is 15 degrees because theta is equal to 15 degrees. So let's call this NY and this one is NX. Now we have drawn all the forces and the reactions. Now we have to use the equations of equilibrium. This one is Ay. If I erase this information, our first equation is sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So I have Ax plus Nx which means n cos theta and theta is 15 degrees negative f cos 60 degrees and f is 200 newtons so from here ax plus n cos 15 equals to 100 let's call this equation 1 now i have i have to use the another equation sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0 i am considering up direction as positive i have ay negative ny which means n sine theta plus f sine 60 degrees equals to 0. So theta is 15 degrees and f is 200 newtons. So from here ay minus n sine 15 degrees. equals to negative 173.2 so this is our equation 2 now we need one more equation now our third equation is sum of the moments about point A equals to 0 I am considering clockwise moment as positive since Ay and Ax are passing through point A so they will not produce any moment about point A because there is no moment arm for them. The horizontal component of the force N, let's call this Nx, so N cos 15 degrees is trying to rotate in clockwise direction so it is taken as positive into the moment arm. The moment arm is 600 cos 15 this distance if I make right here this distance this is 600 cos 15 now I have the vertical component of the force n if I erase it 
Now, vertical component is also trying to rotate in clockwise directions, which is taken as positive and sine 15 degrees into the moment arm. The moment arm for this force is if I draw the projection of NY right here, this is NY. And from here, the moment arm is 200 plus 600 sine 15 degrees, this length, 600 sine 15 degrees. Now, the horizontal component of the force F will not produce any moment about point A because it is passing through it. But the vertical component will produce the moment in counterclockwise direction, so it is taken as negative 200 sine sin 60 degrees into the moment arm. Now, if I do draw the projection of this vertical component right here, then the moment arm is 200 plus 600, which means 800 equals to 0. From here, n is equals to 212.598 Newtons. If you put the value of n into equation 1 and 2, then if you put the value of n into equation 2 and equation 1, so from here, you will get Ax is equals to negative 105.35 Newtons and Ay equals to negative 118.1755 Newtons. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have difficulties in understanding that how, that how I have found this angle theta, then you can ask it, it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.